Ja, ja. Ah, how do you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Tanisha. Nothing to. Um, hi, everybody. Hi. Um, all day I've just been like really trying to not cry um, because it's just it's an it's, it's a very um, intense day. Um, for me, for so many reasons, um, <clears throat> uh, I can remember uh, when I was locked up and uh, some people from, I'm sorry, yeah, some people from um, Charlottesville, Virginia, reached out to me about um, a trans woman of color missing um, out of uh, Charlottesville and I was locked up at the time. And uh, it was, you know, getting so many letters of support. This one letter really stuck out to me for some reason. Um, for, and it was hard being in that jail cell and not being able to reach out to these people or being able to do what I can to help them. Um, but I wrote them back and I told them to please keep me posted and to let me know what comes of the case. The Charlottesville Police Department did nothing about um, Sage's disappearance. Um, that is the name of the young woman um, who went missing there, Sage Smith. Um, the family um, is mourning today because the day that she went missing was on this day on Trans Day of Remembrance and um, and I just can't help but to think about that every time I think about this day um, and to think about how so many of my sisters didn't get the chance to live and thrive and succeed and to be the beautiful, wonderful people that they could have been in this world. The total disregard that people have for trans women in this country is so disgusting and a downright disrespect to who we are as human beings before anything. And I was so happy when I reached out to my sister and <laughs> like every time I come to the Bay Area, I'm like, Danny, I'm here. Like, let's love on each other. And having that, what Bobby was saying, like bringing us all together like being able to reach out and to check in with your sisters to make sure that they're okay to make sure that they're breathing to make sure that they're living to make sure that they're thriving and surviving in this world that's constantly going to break them down break us down it's important to have that communication to have that love and connection with your other sisters because you never know in a world like this when somebody will try to take you away. Um, and somebody tried to take me away and I wasn't having that shit. <laughs> um, I don't have any speech or anything because, you know, um, I, I'm feeling it for somebody, but I couldn't turn down the opportunity to share my love and my positive energy and my good vibrations with okay. people to make sure that this day isn't just a day of mourning, but this is a day of celebration. And I know that my sisters are looking down on me 
in their lovely gold, golden gowns and feather boas and lovely stilettos, and they're saying, yes, sister, yes. And I want to make sure that I continue to carry this torch that has been passed down to me from my transcestors and hoping that I can pass this torch, but not for the sake of, you know, making one continue having to put names on a list or to have to talk about mourning each other's losses on a regular basis, but to pass this torch so that my trans sisters and brothers and in-betweeners um, can live in their life authentically and love themselves and have self-awareness and have agency and to believe in themselves and to know that they have the right to exist in their skin and walk down the street and not be harassed and not be violently attacked, but to be appreciated and loved and accepted and to not feel lonely and depressed, but to feel loved and welcome. And I want so desperately for that to happen but it's hard, you know, it's hard to see when um, people will attack you for just being who you are, for wanting to go grocery shopping, for wanting to go to your family's house, for wanting to take your dog to the park. And so a lot of trans women live in fear. A lot of trans women live um, in the shadows. And it's time that we step out of the shadows. It's time that we stop walking on eggshells. It's time that we stop biting our tongues and that we put our foot down and that we reclaim our lives, that we reclaim our thrones, that we reclaim this movement that has been started by trans women color. It's so hard for me, you know, somebody asked me, I was on the panel, and somebody asked me like, how do you do the work and not get burned out? And I said, well, that's a dumb question. <laughs> I'm always burnt out. <laughs> I'm a working woman, I'm an activist, I'm an advocate, I'm a godmom, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. I'm a friend, I'm a confidant, I'm a partner. How can I not? No one is picking up the slack for me. No one is saying, hey, Cece, you want to take a break from your activism today? <laughs> like, maybe, but no. There's no one out there that is putting in the good word for trans women the way that it needs to put, be put out there. There is no one out there, you know, giving us really good positive possibility models, that Laverne would say, um, to give us a broader, more fluid description of who trans women are and what we are about. Everybody is screaming Caitlyn Jenner. I, I mean, I, congratulations, Caitlyn. <laughs> But what, are, what, what issues are you highlighting about the deaths of trans women? When are you giving people trans women? You're worth how many million? Trans women shouldn't be struggling for funding for any type of programming, for any type of housing, for any type of social justice work and you know for the people who do you know do the hard work who is really out there putting out the word doing the hard work I commend you trans women trans men trans allies I commend you there aren't too many of us 
trying to keep the shade to ourselves because some of us can be real shady <laughs> in the worst ways. But it's time that we love each other, that we support each other, that we uplift each other. I see you, Tiger's family. I love y'all. Um, it's so hard. Like, see, that's so hard for me, you know, to have to work with the family. Like, people don't understand that we are loved. We have family. We have friends. We have people who care for us. And the total disregard of our lives, it needs to stop. We should not be having to condition it every year add, adding names to this list. This is ridiculous and we need to put in more work. We need to make sure that this, this is a, somebody, where is that, Obama wrote somebody a letter, where is that person at? <laughs> Cause he, he, um, we need more than a letter. <laughs> we need some real true initiative. We need something happening. You better get a girl. I got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how much time I have left. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just so emotional. And I, I swear, I feel like every time I open my mouth, I'm going to cry. Um, I just want y'all to know that I wholeheartedly love y'all, that I love the support that y'all given me, that y'all gave me while I was incarcerated, that y'all know that the work that I'm doing will not go in vain. If I have to tear it up myself, brick by brick, I will. But I know that there are people out here fighting with me. And I'm gonna to continue to fight until I shrivel up into an old lady raisin. <laughs> And I'm going to continue to fight hard for the trans women who have passed and for the trans women who are present. Let's not forget the ones that are still here. Let's celebrate their lives too. Let's remember the work that they do now and not wait till they're gone to highlight the beautiful, hardworking women out here that does everything. We're doing everything. We, are, we need to uplift each other. We need to celebrate each other. We need to help each other. We need to help each other. <laughs> I wanna make sure y'all hear that. Be an ally, be a friend, be there for each other, love each other, and let's hope that we can stop adding names to this list and that we can just celebrate each other in the now. I love y'all. Thank y'all.